All right, today we are going to be looking at insertion sort with Python implementation, but give me just one minute of your time. Let's just go and see the theory of insertion sort just for a few minutes before we go to Python and then write this code. So insertion sort is an algorithm that is actually very easy to understand. So let's see how it applies here. Um, just a reminder for you to subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe button below this video if you have not subscribed and also leave a comment to let me know if there is something you observe you like me to do better. So there is a term you need to know and that term is called pairwise swap. So that is the key word of insertion salt and also there is another word you need to know which is key and of course you know about iteration. iteration. All right, and the next term you need to know is a uh, nested loop. All right, so let's put all this together to see how insertion works here, insertion sort works here. So in the first step, at each step of the iteration, insertion sort chooses two items, the first and the second item, right? So it compares the two items, for instance, it, the, the first two items, one of them should be the key, and the key is always in the second one. Let me put it as K. All right, so it starts with a key K and compares it with the item to the left of it. If the item to the left of it is greater, or if this item is smaller, then it's going to do a pairwise swap. swap. It's going to swap the two. So let's look at the list in the first iteration, how the list is going to be. I'm not sure I'm, I'm, I'm drawing very perfectly, but let's see how it will look at in the first iteration. So in the first iteration, there will be pairwise swap of five and two, and then we have two here, and then we have five at this point. So other things remain the way they are, six, one, three, right? So this is iteration one. Now, the key is going to move one step further to this place. So at this point, so in this point, the key here in the first iteration, the key is what? Is two. In this iteration, the key is what? Is four. So it's going to do a pairwise swap between this key and the key to the left of it. So let's see what our, our list is going to look like in the second iteration. So in the second iteration, is going to swap five and four. So four comes down to this place, right? So now there is something you need to understand while it swaps four to this place, before it drops it, it's going to do another, another a comparison before it drops it. So let's let's just do the first swap. We have four, we have five, we have six, one, three, and we have uh, two. So while the, the key is still four, and the key at this point is here, it's still the same key, it's going to do a second swap. So like this. So let's see how the list is going to look like at this point with the, the key of four. So one thing you need to know is the key keeps moving from, the key is moving from, uh, from this point, it's moving all the way to this place. So even if the key comes to this place, uh, it will be the same key. It will only change when it moves from this point to this point. So at this point, it's going to compare this to do a pairwise swap, and then we have, okay, sorry, I, I think I got it, okay, I think we're on track. So at this point, the key is uh, four, and this is iteration two. So at the next step, it checks, uh, it comes to uh, six, right? Yeah, good. So it compares six and five, it seems everything is okay. So at this point, the key is, uh, key is six, because it moves, the key was two, 
to 4, this time the key is 6. I'm sure you understand. So the key always moves in the same as the element. So when it checks the key compared with 5, it doesn't do a swap. So it comes to the next iteration, iteration 3. At this point, the key is what? Key is 1. So at this point, so it compares it here, it swaps it. So 1, 6. And everything remains the same. 4, 2. So at this point, it does a swap. Now the key remains 1. And then it's going to compare again and also do another swap. Let me draw it. And let's see how it is. So now the key moves several steps all the way to the right position. So uh, this is 3. It remains where it is. So the key is fun. It moves here. The key is compared again to 5. 5. It swaps. 4. 2. I'm sure you understand. So the key is also one, is compared again, and then is compared again. So at the final stage, what our list is going to look like after one is placed in the right position, let's see how, how the list is going to look like. So one will be swapped, is swapped again. So we have one, two, have four, five, six, three. So now, what is the next key? 2, we have, we have 2, 4, 6, 1, and the next key is going to be 3. So, the same thing re repeats, and when it comes here, all the way up to this place, it, it moves from here to here to here to here, and then stays. So let's go to the fun stuff now. Let's go to Python and write this this uh, program in Python to see how it works. So I'm going to exit this presentation and then we go all the way to Python to write it. So now I've, I'm using a simple list that you can see on the screen. So this is 19232418. And then if I run this, you see that it is not sorted, right? It's not sorted, everything is still the same. So let's write the insertion insertion sort code based on what we have discussed in uh, in the explanation and then let's see that in the second time is going to print out sort at least uh, let me just put uh, indication here it says print sorted list fine all right so if I run it let's see good so sorted list uh, is displayed in the second line all right so let's write the first one is a loop that is going to iterate and move the key from the first item to the last item. So that key is going to move from one. Remember we say we are moving the key moves from the second item. I, I just want to show you. The key moves from the second item, which is two. The key does not start from five. So the movement of the key is going to be from two. And that will be uh, index of what? Of Because we have index of 0, 1, 2. So this is value 0, values 1, values 2, values 3. So the second item is at values 1. So let's see. For i in range, it goes from 1 to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. To the whole length of the list. So to get the, the number of items in the list, we can just use length of values. So length values gives us the size of the items in the list. All right, so let me give some space. So what we are going to do in the next step, when we are at this point, right, we are comparing with the item before it. So at this time, let's assume that the key is one. It means that we are comparing from one backwards all the way to zero. So let's start another uh, iteration that actually goes from the key backwards doing pairwise comparison and swapping when the, the item is, 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 is greater or is less than the, the item 
in the previous. So let's see for j in range. This time we are going from i backwards to zero, right? Good. So from i backwards to zero. But now we want to decrease i at each step, not to increase it. So we don't want to say i i plus one, but we want to say i i minus one all the way to zero because we want it to decrease to zero. So to do that, you simply put the step which is minus one. So at each step, we decrease by one, which is we are reducing it by one. So we now compare. We now compare values i, values j, which at this time is the same as a key with the item before it. So we are comparing value j and values j minus 1. We are comparing item at j and item at j minus 1. So to do that, you simply say if, if values j is less than values j minus 1. Right? Good. So I put the semicolon. So what we are now going to do is to swap. So swap, let me put swap. Yeah. So now let me just I'm going to write a code for swap. So I'm writing it in line. I don't want to write a different function for swap. So you say temp is equal to values values j. And we say values j equal to values j minus 1. So these are actually a trivial code for swap values uh, this time, values j minus 1 equal to temp, which was previously value j. All right, so at this point, our code is done. So it's as simple as that. This is uh, insertion salt. I'm going to run it so that we see how it works. But before I run it, let me just add the comment here that says in insertion salt code. All right, so that is how I, I caption. All right, so I'm going to run it. Let's see. So if I run it now, you can see the sorted list is now 1, 2, 2, 3, 4, 5, 8, 19. Let me, so, let me change a few things here. I'm going to put 100 here. I'm going to put 7 here. I'm going to put 1 here. I'm going to put uh, 25 here, 21. So let's run it and see and make sure it works and sorts the list. So you can see it sorts it perfectly. So if you want, you can have this code. Um, uh, look in the description box, you'll see a link to my website. You can copy this code, use it, try to change it and understand how it works. I'm going to stop here. I'd like to thank you for viewing. I'd like to also remind you to subscribe and also leave a comment if you see something that you want me to take note of or some observation you'll make.